Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install these and, and actually these things in general. Now, interestingly enough, on the website they say that these are CNC. I think these are just metal stamped, but uh, I've seen plastic versions of these, but I have not seen metal ones. And when I ran across metal ones of these on eBay, uh, I got them. And I'll have a link where you can get them also below. Uh, they weren't that much money. I think they were sub-20 bucks. They come in silver and gold, so depending upon your color pleasures, um, you know, you can pick. And so I went with the silver because I kind of wanted to match the silver with, obviously, this. And what happens is this mounts on here to provide rigidity for this because what happens is the motor mounts on the, on the Phantom 3s uh, tend to crack. And so what I want to do is I want to avoid that. So I purchased these to put on here. Also, I think, um, you know, in, in, the, in the case of a harder landing, you know, they have this ridge around here, which uh, uh, will provide some impact resistance, too, if it tips over or hits something. So the concept, the way that this actually works is we remove um, these two. And what happens, there's actually uh, offset shims which go in there to offset these and they give us a whole set of new screws too so what i'm going to do is walk through doing one and show you guys how this this all gets set up uh, so th because what you'll have to do is you'll have to remove these six screws now you'll need a number two uh, allen or torque i think these can also be uh, with a torque these might be smaller these are number twos and these i think are going to be 1.5s Okay, I do a little bit of experimenting, and I ended up using um, these inner ones take like a T8 torque. Now, the package does come with two sets of um, Allen wrenches. Now, the interesting piece is each packet comes with two sets of Allen wrenches. Um, so the larger ones fit the uh, four motor screws, but these inserts are a little bit different. And the little Allen wrench that comes with it does not fit in there. Um, he doesn't even fit that guy, which you don't have to take out. So you will need, uh, in addition, and I think all the packets are going to be the same, uh, a T8 torque to take these out. Um, now what we're going to do, too, I, I've got the blue Loctite. I want to mention this because when I put these back together, I'm going to use some blue Loctite with this. I always use that, especially on motors or any place where there's vibration. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually remove these couple first and take these out and notice over there while I'm doing this I, I cut up a little cup to make it easier because I just put it in rather than trying to drip it all over the place um, so I've got those removed and you notice that these already have some blue Loctite on them so again it's a good good uh, thing to do so what I want to now do is I'm going to take these metal inserts and I'm going to insert them. So I just want to look. They seem to be uniform in size. So I'm going to put them in there. And then what happens is they now come with some longer um, screws. So you have these screws. So you have four larger ones. And then you have two smaller ones. And I think the idea behind these is these fit the new screws rather if I can't pick it up, but uh, these fit the new screws rather than the old screws. So I'm going to go ahead now. I'm going to use my uh, number two, two millimeter Allen to pop these out. And I would highly suggest saving these. You can never have too many screws, motor screws and that kind of stuff. They always come in handy. And screws can be rather expensive. So, um, just putting these over here. Normally, I got my tray over there, but it's already full of stuff from another project that I haven't cleaned out yet. So, normally, I just put them in there. Maybe I just need to buy another one. Okay, so I've taken these out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this over top of here. Kind of goes like that. Then I've got my four longer screws, or not longer, but uh, bigger screws, and i got these other small ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, just going to dip a little bit of that in the uh, Loctite 
working and then try to get this in the slot without messing it up too much and what I want to do is I'm going to put in all the screws first and uh, this is all live too so I haven't done this before I haven't practiced I just kind of looked at it and uh, surmised it because it doesn't come with instructions so it assumes you have some more <laughs> working knowledge of how all this goes together all right now I'm going to tighten these in I'm not going to tighten these all the way down I'm just going to start getting them so they're snug and notice how I'm going in a cross pattern too, so I, I get them relatively even. And this one goes down. Get a little Loctite on the... Okay, so that's snug. Whoops, that doesn't fit that, so I have to go back to... Well, I'll probably use this one use the 1.5 so I'm going to now tighten these down pretty tight and that does a nice job I tell you what I got these newer I think they're called newer um, extended Allen um, drivers very nice I'll put a link to these below too I've uh, very much enjoyed these. Just want to retighten these. Just double check after they've sat a second. And then I'm going to take my two and I'm going to tighten these up. Now you don't want to go too crazy tight. I'm going to get these pretty tight. Um, and notice I'm going in this cross pattern to tighten them. And that's what you want to do. And if any of you guys know where, where they have a small um, torque wrench for something like this, let me know. I'd really like to get a small torque wrench. So basically here it goes. This is uh, what it looks like. This is pretty simple and assembled. I really like how this piece sets in here. I like the uh, how it's got the offsets and uh, pretty snug. And again, with the Loctite, that's not going anywhere. So, tell you what, I'm just going to kind of fast forward through doing the other ones and then we'll kind of come back at the end and just wrap it up. Okay, so we finished it up, and here's how it looks. I got a little Loctite in there, got to clean off. But all in all, this kit, they came out pretty good. It was a rather quick one. Now, the one thing I forgot to do is weigh these. Uh, they don't weigh too much, so I can't think more than, than a few grams each. Um, I wasn't going to take them back off after I thought about it, after I put the Loctite on. So, uh, you just have to forgive me for that one. But uh, anyways, uh, again, they went out pretty good. Now, one of the other tips that I do is I uh, take and I um, put these screws in a bag, and then I write on the bag with a permanent marker uh, what they're for and sort of when, and I'll throw these in with the uh, sort of other drone parts, and that way if I need to go back or something, I know what these went for. They might end up in another project um, because they're nice motor mount screws uh, for a self-build drone, but uh, for the time being, I'll have them in the uh, P3 box. And so throw those off to the side, but here we are. So I think it uh, all came out pretty good. So uh, I'm pretty happy with these. Uh, hopefully give, give a little bit extra resiliency if you would. And uh, Move this over here so you can kind of see it. So give it a little bit of extra resiliency. So hopefully you found this interesting. Again, I'll have the links to all this stuff below. So if you want to put these on your P3, which I'd highly recommend, um, you can do that. Again, not a lot of money, not a lot of time. Pretty easy task to do. And uh, it definitely builds up the resiliency of the copter. So uh, let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. Subscribe button coming over there. And hey, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.